Well, guys, uh, next up we got Jakiro. This is an incredibly fun hero to play. Really fun set of skills, utility, however you want to call it. Useful for any fight, for any pick. Uh, whoever it is on the other side of the enemy team, if you pick Jakiro, you will never go wrong. There's something for any uh, hero to counter, right? Uh, including Liquid Fire, this is your free. Uh, like like an attack buffed with spell damage and spell effects with slow and burn damage so this is free you should always max this on your lane uh it, it's just a free spell that you can cast whenever it's off the cooldown as you can see on the last level it, it goes to four so using this on a laning phase harassing heroes hitting the enemy towers as well uh ju you know ju just to damage the towers also if anybody gets stuck under tower let's say you chase somebody you get a kill or you're just running away you just cast this one on the enemy tower it's gonna get slowed a bunch and you're gonna get a lot less uh rock hits right on you so a lot more chance to survive just a really really great hero early game mid game late game uh everything's there so uh being all that right uh as you can imagine does not need at all much in, in terms of items uh, just a couple of nice things to kind of contribute to the whole team. So I like getting gather lands uh, as a first item uh, just to deal with my mana problems and uh, cast range is really nice for Ice Path. Ice Path uh, becomes a really really long range so you can catch somebody even there. I just kind of li like it because of that reason. Uh, some nice range for dual breath as well and uh, it kind of synergizes with the whole thing uh, whenever you hit level 10 you get 325 attack range so that covers your liquid fire uh because it's you know it's still an attack so you can buff it with this but um you get your attack range from that so you can cast that and then this covers your whole uh your three other uh spells that that need cast range right so pretty much just a, just a great synergy with the talent tree and this uh always like that you can also get something like discord as you can imagine just you know casting that and yoking whoever it is can quickly and uh, cast all three spells extra damage uh, on this so also a great item for Jakiro really really well it, especially if there's another support hero with spells if there's mid in your team that went kind of like uh, more spell casting even off laners right so, uh, off laner like uh, tides for example tide hunter so again uh, any of these will work both of those will work if you want to go that way but i kind of pick uh, if i'm going to go discord if i'm going to go uh, lance you can make both if you want but um kind of save spot for something more interesting right something more useful uh, in that way so uh four staff four staff uh for jakiro because he suffers from uh, <coughs> the same problem that a lot of uh let's say support heroes suffer in general uh they kind of need to get there or get, or get out but don't have necessarily so much stuff that you can use for yourself or if they do it's much better to be used uh, in a team fight or, or for the team so you're kind of stuck uh by just being forced to right click there's no way uh there's no any movement speed buffs there's no invisibility like gondor for example there's no leaps like mirana <coughs> and you don't have anything like uh like faceless voids jump right there's nothing like those so Four step is just a way for you to move around the map, get out of the way, uh, get in the fight, uh, push anybody out of the out of the danger, or if anybody's late to the fight, let's say Tides is here, uh, he needs to kind of get there quickly, you can kind of push him as well, uh, getting closer to the fight. You know, the, the four step is just your, your, like your mini blink, I don't like buying blink for Jakiro, so I just get uh, four step, because it just works for the team as well, not just for me, right? Uh, <coughs> interesting stuff about four step is, you can also use it uh, to push enemy heroes in. Uh, I kind of forget uh, mentioning that, but um, if somebody is facing you at some distance and you have other lands for some extra cast range, right? Other, other lands goes for all of these in terms of cast range, not, not just spells. So if somebody is kind of facing you uh, for whatever reason, maybe they just turn towards you to hit the last hit the creeps or cast something. Uh, if you're close you can actually push them use something like venge vengeful spirit soul swap uh you know maybe they just shortly face you and you can then push them in push them towards your team and away from their team and uh just another use of four step right uh, try, try to get an easy kill if they're uh not being careful enough so yeah that's uh four step also Netherlands uh 
white uh, th these uh, boots here, white white boots. So you just use the old trick as always with the other lands if if you're making this. Uh, get the energy booster for the boots. Get arcane boots. Get the void stone, and uh, then buy the recipe <clears throat> for this. Then just disassemble the boots, unlock the energy booster, and they all combine in Netherlands. Then you can decide if you want to get something like maybe Tranquil Boots well, for that one. You know, this covers you with mana issues. This gives you health. You can stay on the lane and harass. Uh, don't have to worry about any healing because Shakira doesn't make any like uh, healing items and stuff like this. I mean, I guess you can go for a mechanism, but I, I was never a fan of that. Uh, the hero that's like this it's much more offensive mode uh i don't bother with mechanism because i want to cut the nuke as much as i can in a way but also uh as utility and help i just like making glimmer cape and, and uh, four staff in terms of helping the team i don't think me mechanism helps that much just you know uh, just you know to have it you know just have mechanism i don't think it's that great and i think these will help much more right so glimmer cape next one as usual uh, you can hide yourself uh, if you want to cast it like this. Get away. Uh, so the, the the nice thing with glimmer cap, it's not like shadow blade. You can cast it and then cast a bunch of stuff. It's gonna keep you. Uh, it's still gonna keep you hidden. So I was invisible. I cast the dual breath. I'm again invisible. Uh, same for the anybody that you use it from your from your team. If anybody's running away, you can save them. You can push them up with four staff. Uh, you know, now you have a lot of options combined with your spells to really control uh, control the fight, stop enemy heroes, help your own uh, bodies and stuff. Uh, you know, it, it, it just kind of always work uh, so nicely together when it's spells like this and then just a bunch of items like this with some extra cast range. Really, uh, really all you need, in my opinion at least. And uh, one interesting item is uh, Yule in, in Jakiro's case. So you can do something like this uh, with the Yule uh, Scepter. Just kind of prepare the ice as soon as they uh, come back off of this. You know, the same stuff Lena uses or uh, Void Spirit. You know, heroes like that, I can just kind of lift them on this and prepare a spell. It doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be only ice pad. If you want to go, uh, it's going to be a bit faster. You can also prep and the old and the uh, uh, ice pad so once they come down that they, they're going to be met with macro pyre and the ice pad and you know you you you, you just kind of cast them a bit faster and then you also have time to cast dual breath and liquid fire so basically you keep them occupied so long that you you, you get to hit them with all four spells and uh they're in big trouble if anybody wants to uh, jump in or try the same or anything uh they'll have to walk into macro pyre it should go off the cooldown, it's kind of low cooldown, and uh, you can just continue, you know, doing fun stuff. So, that's that will be the you will use for somebody like uh, Jakiro, that way. And, you know, also the usual stuff, if you get silenced, you can use this. If any stun is flying towards you, you just use it on yourself to block the stun. Uh, any, <clears throat> any channeling spell, like I always use the same example, Switch, Doctor, Crystal, Maiden, in enemy team. Cast this on them, Legion Commander, if uh, she ults anybody, interrupt her ult with this, interrupt Pudge, uh, Pudge's ult. And just in general, if anybody's chasing uh, somebody from your team and you want to let them help uh, get away, and maybe this is on cooldown, maybe this is on cooldown, whatever happened, uh, there's always Yule as another way. <clears throat> right, so... Uh, this item is always great, usually for supports anyways, because there's always going to be a use for it in a way. Uh, but it works especially nice with Jakira, right, because of the, the whole thing. As you can see, once they come down, I can just hit them with everything uh, from my inventory of spells, right? Uh, this level 16 ties is already just done completely. So, that will be kind of item-wise. Uh, I forgot to mention Rod of Fatos. Uh, Rod of Fatos would be the same thing as uh, Ice Pad. Just, you know, uh, another Ice Pad, you can keep them there. Once the root starts to expire, you can hit them with the ice pad again, and then, you know, maybe wait out the ice pad, hit them with this, because this is also slow. So they go from root into root, for, like from root to root to another slow. Uh, hit them with this if you want. Uh, another really fun item that, that you can get if you want, uh, but, you know, it, it, it just kind of kind of depends how, how, many, how many things you want to click. Uh, it, it might be a lot for people. 
that don't really play them that much to click on the all this um there's four spells and then there's like four items as well so there's like eight things uh, that you gotta click and also be aware of your health your surroundings uh look at the map look at the heroes uh it can be overwhelming uh, but it just kind of takes practice but it comes really fun and you kinda after some while you do want to make as much uh, clickable items as you want because it kind of becomes boring uh without all of this once you get used to it and the uh, last item of course is something like on disk it's just like a like an extra layer of security if somebody jumps you if there's blink if there's any effect like that uh, somebody attacks you from wind walk that you can't see it gives you just a bunch of time to think if you're gonna go back if you want a counter attack you'll be having of course a lot of these uh can give you time to use four step use glimmer cave uh 2.5 seconds is more than enough to cast the ult so maybe you just see you're gonna die four of them ganked you but you have time to cast macro fire you can just cast it uh, maybe also cast this and then of course you die but then your team can jump in and fight them in the macro pyre so that that's all good and it's just an item that gives you kind of options like that it's also nice uh, health boost right 250 health so that would be kind of be my thing with items uh just like i said not really a fan of mechanism because of how all of these work nicely uh it's just not the type of hero i'm not talking about like somebody like omni knight or let's say abaddon uh, where i do like getting mechanism in general or like a uh, chen Chakiro is more like a, like a nuke and then some utility, but not not this type of utility, right? It kind of feels kind of feels uh, odd a bit getting mechanism <clears throat> when you can be getting all of this, right? So that would be the items. Uh, there's scepter as well. Scepter is 15 seconds more on this, and it goes through spell immunity. Now, problem with this is that's all great on paper, spell immunity piercing uh, spell immunity but um it's a dot effect on the ground and uh if somebody has blacking bar turned on right uh what's gonna keep him inside anyways you, you, you cannot keep anybody with blacking bar inside uh with your you know usual spells i can cast this with scepter and be like okay now this goes through the blacking but they just kind of move to just leave leave the macro pad and move i can't cast ice pad and keep them in it doesn't work right blacking bar effect only good way where you could kind of come uh would be probably somebody like enigma and stuff like that you know where it's continuous stun uh where you can kind of get it but i mean then again they're they're not be uh they're not going to be casting blacking bars anyway so maybe that was dumb example it's just not that great right it's just uh scepter is nice and all but it's just the value is not really there right it's a lot of money your support uh, like i said all of these make so much more sense uh i want to come with so yeah the, the game usually probably and anyways you're not gonna play support and get the full six slot build anyways right the game's probably gonna end so that would be it you can get the shard shard just enables the the freezing head right uh does the stun does a dps per second uh the the frost the frost effect could be great against uh maybe some nastier offlaners because it does percentage of max health so i would i would probably go for shard uh but I, maybe if i play against somebody like tight somebody like bristleback maybe centaur uh, more of the annoying offlaners uh that that could be beneficial right maybe somebody has um keep forgetting what the name is vessel uh vessel is vessel could be also interesting if you went with the frost because vessel reduces uh for four percent and this it deals percentage of the max health so that can be also used as a combo i completely forgot there's vessel and uh shard combo so as you can see there, there's a lot of uh a lot of stuff with uh, Jakiro that you can really do, right? However you want to go. Uh, so yeah, that would be it. Let's take a look at the, at the talent tree. Talent tree, like I said, attack range. You, you buffed your cast range for spells. You buff your attack range for this. Uh, next one, always take free health. No matter what it is, just take the free health. Uh, third one, macro pyre is nice, but... It, there's uh, 200 damage per second for 10 seconds that's enough you do not need macro plus 30 macro per damage just take the ice pad really nice uh stun extension right that, that kind of goes aoe-ish 
And uh, the last one really depends, uh, but I would say Ice Pad cooldown. 12 breath is already range. Uh, it's, it's just two times range. Uh, we kind of covered the range with Etherlands, and uh, damage is not that important. It's much more important kind of to keep spamming Ice Pad. It's a much bigger cast range, keep them all in place. And uh, I, I'd rather have uh, much more, you know, much more time to cast Ice Pad than just cast it once. And then, like, it's 9 seconds. This puts it to, like, uh, 6.5. That's pretty low. This is still 10 seconds. It's a lot. So even if you cast one with the benefits, you have to wait 10 seconds. Uh, I think it's just better to uh, reduce this one. Right. <laughs> that is, if you, if you ever hit 25, it's not that usual to go uh, that high with level. So... That would be it with Jakiro, like I said. Uh, oh yeah, and I mean, of course, you can bump the other lands always into the core. But um, that's the last one I get. This is the cooldown on all items, right? But that's not that important for Jakiro. Uh, I have to worry about some uh, other stuff before you go out there in core. It's just better to finish all of this, right? Uh, and yeah, if you want to go something like Mechanism, maybe even combined with Holy Locket, but um, I don't really think it fits them. Because uh, usually... Usually that's how I like playing those healing classes. They already have like inbuilt heals. I just go crazy with them. Also, I get in the mechanism. I get in the holy locket, and kind of go with the whole team. Just amplify it, right? Because holy locket gives you thirty percent extra healing as a, as a passive effect on any healing spells you have. So somebody that already has them, and uh, that's kind of based around being more protective, right? In that way, the kind of heals and buffs not like a straight nuke hero type of hero uh of course not as nuke as zeus but you, know, you, you get the point uh so yeah that would be your hero uh like, like again nice combos with items that you can pull uh you'll basically buy you enough time to just land both ult and ice pet and then just nuke with 12 breath and liquid fire anybody when they land <clears throat> so always think about this item this item has just so many uh uses it, it's amazing and uh you know some couple of other things right 50 percent spell damage reduction also can be nice uh so yeah that'll be your hero uh it's not a ramble anymore and uh, i'll see you guys on the next one